Welcome to Bar India News Hour. A zero trust approach helps reduce cost. The data breach now costs organizations an average of 4.24 million dollars. This is a 10% rise from the average cost in 2019 which was 3.86 million dollars. The global average cost of cyber crime is expected to peak at 6 trillion US dollars annually by the end of 2021 driven by the proliferation of ransomware attacks. Ransomware as a service is a subscription based model that enables affiliates to use already developed ransomware tools to execute ransomware attacks. Affiliates earn a percentage of each successful ransom payment. Ransomware as a service is an adoption of the software as a service business model. The report by Ponemon Institute by and IBM Security takes into account hundreds of cost factors from legal, regulatory and technical activities, loss of brand equity, customer turnover and drain on employee productivity. The report encourages businesses to reduce data breach costs by addressing cybersecurity risks and improving overall security posture. Cybercrime costs include damage and destruction of data, stolen money, lost productivity, theft of intellectual property, theft of personal and financial data, embezzlement, fraud, post attack disruption to the normal course of business, forensic investigation, restoration and deletion of hacked data and systems, and reputational harm. The average cost of a breach was 1.76 million dollars less at organizations with a mature zero trust approach compared to organizations without zero trust. Data breaches can be far more than a temporary terror. They may change the course of your life. Businesses, governments and individuals alike can experience huge complications from having sensitive information exposed. Zero trust is the architecture of the future. Whether you are offline or online, hackers can get to you through the internet, bluetooth, text messages or the online services that you use. Without proper attention to detail, a small vulnerability can cause a massive data breach. Since many people are unaware of how common modern security threats work, they don't give it enough attention. The dark web is a criminal infested network, so any leaked information on the platform will give multiple cyber criminal groups free access to your sensitive data and those of your customers. The fear of further exploitation compels many ransomware victims to comply with cyber criminal demands. Most ransomware victims are breached through phishing attacks. Data protection, data security and data breach prevention strategies will also help achieve this and should be integrated into information security policies. When the world rushed to support a remote workforce, many organizations were literally digging up old VPN appliances from closets. They did whatever they had to to keep the lights on. Now, having caught their breath, security and network teams are looking to the future for new approaches like secure access service edge to deliver uniform visibility and control across the web, cloud and private apps. At the same time, the surge in the cyber attacks felt across these export environments has prompted a move towards the zero trust security model. Let's look into today's headlines in Var India. Russia's new missile can hit any target on earth. Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Russia has successfully tested the Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile that is capable of carrying nuclear charges. The Sarmat, dubbed as Saturn II by Western analysts, is among Russia's next generation missiles that Putin has called invincible and which also include the Kinzhal and Avangard hypersonic missiles. Russia's defense ministry said that the test successfully took place at the Plesetsk Cosmodrome in northern Russia. JSW to develop hydel and rolling mill projects in Bengal. The JSW group has expressed interest to develop a 900 megawatt pump storage hydel power project and a state of the art rolling shop for steel in West Bengal. JSW had commissioned a greenfield cement grinding unit near Salboni. The production capacity of 2.4 million ton per annum will be increased to 3.6 million ton per annum as the company is committed to strengthen its presence in eastern India. The company is also planning to set up a paint manufacturing facility at Salboni soon. Delta in talks with SpaceX for IFC. Delta Airlines is reportedly talking to SpaceX for providing in-flight connectivity and entertainment for its passengers. Starlink is designed to connect rural underserved communities to the internet, but the company has also requested in a filing to the Federal Communications Commission that it connect moving vehicles including planes, ships and large trucks to Starlink. Atlanta based Delta operates three servicing bases outside the US in Amsterdam, Paris and Tokyo. Samsung launches its Neo models in India. Samsung has released its latest Neo QLED 8K and Neo QLED TVs in India. 
the 2022 Neo QLED range will come in eco-friendly packaging and each TV comes with a battery-free solar remote. These families of ultra premium TVs include 3 8K and 3 4K models in 7 screen sizes, featuring a built-in IoT hub that enables users to control their smart home devices, including third-party devices. They will also allow users to watch over 45 free Indian and global TV channels as part of the Samsung TV Plus service. Google rolls out Switch to Android app for iPhone users. Google is rolling out the Switch to Android app for iOS users who are looking to move their data from iPhones to Android smartphones. Switch to Android app allows users to migrate data including photos, videos and contacts among others from iPhones to Android phones wirelessly. The app lets users turn off iMessage to receive text messages on their Android phones and is av available in multiple languages including English, Arabic, Dutch, German, Hindi and Spanish among others. The free app is currently available to download on iOS devices via the Apple App Store. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Bar India News Magazine. You can download the Bar India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.